Good afternoon, Manufacturing All-Stars, and welcome to this episode of Manufacturing Happy Hour. Today, you are going to learn about an MES system, Manufacturing Execution System, through the context of an example in the metals industry. I'm joined by Chris Rickey. Cheers, Chris. Cheers. Welcome to the show. So Chris is our global technical lead at Rockwell Automation for MES. So before we dive into the metals example, let's provide some quick definition around MES sure. for someone that's really trying to get a grasp on what that does for their manufacturing process. Absolutely. Uh, so really, MES comes down to understanding everything that we can understand about the order and the mm -hmm. product that the order is manufacturing or is the designated manufacturer. Sure. So that's from tracking the order, tracking the materials that are going into the order, tracking who's touching it, uh, what equipment it's gone through, what yeah. quality checks have been performed against it, basically a complete um, history of everything that's happened with that order. And it does that in real time, so you're not just learning about things that happen after the fact, correct? It's exactly. It, the, the, the whole goal is to be able to head off problems before they happen. So understand if uh, you know we have a quality um, trend that's going out of control, that we sure. can basically pull that back into control before it, uh, before it gets out of hand. Awesome. Well, you know, beyond those capabilities, and, and we were talking a little bit before we started shooting this video, you know, we're talking about a metals example, but really this could apply to any industry to an extent. Um, but take us through that example so we've got an idea of what the true power of an MES system is. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, I like to say that every customer already has MES, whether it's a digital MES or whether it's just on paper. Uh, somehow you're managing orders and inventory and, and, and all the information that goes along with that. Yep. But with a digital MES, um, you're going to bring that into uh, you know, a, a connected system so that you can get that information in real time. Mm -hmm. In the context of, of the metals MES, it's, it's mostly MES. There's just mm -hmm. a few things about metals that makes it a little bit specific around chemistry okay. and whatnot. But in the end, it's still, I need to produce a batch or a, 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 an order of metal rods, for example. Mm -hmm. um, and that's going to define uh, what raw ingredients need to go into that in order to reach a certain chemistry for okay. that alloy, sure, um, and then all the process steps along the way. Right. Well, certainly more chemical mixed into that process than other discrete processes. I guess, as we, you know, any other things you'd want to provide about the value around an MES that this brings, or any other, I guess, something you wish I would have asked you that I hadn't yet about an MES? Well, as I said, everybody already has it, uh, but it, it, it basically comes down to a matter of timing, right? So sure. in the context of our, our metals demo, for example, uh, you know, at the time that we're getting ready to produce that batch of, uh, of molten metal, uh, we have a certain chemistry that we're trying to, to reach. So we have all this slag and, and, and other scrap metal that we're going to throw in there. The MES is going to be able to guide us and say, hey, this is my target chemistry that I'm looking for. Maybe it's 5% copper that I'm looking yeah. for, right? But I just threw in a big batch that has maybe 18% copper, right? Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be able to adjust later ingredients for me that says later on, we're not gonna add as much copper uh, or, or raw material that has copper in it so that I can, I can hit the right amount. So the Almost. MES can kind of do that calculations along the way. I was gonna say, it's cool, because it sounds like it's it being iterative for you and telling Absolutely. you what to do. Interesting. Right, it, 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 changes, it changes your approach as you go based upon on what you've done already. Cool. Well, certainly one thing unique to the metals industry in that regard, but there are probably unique things to your industry as well if you're watching this. So as a call to action, um, one, I'd recommend you reach out to uh, your Rockwell representative and talk about this and explore it further to see how it fits into your particular process. And also, I'll make sure to have a link to uh, one of our MES pages below this video as well. So in the meantime, Chris, thanks so much for being on the show Thank today. You. Cheers. And the rest of you out there, stay innovative, stay thirsty. We'll catch you here on Manufacturing Happy Hour again real soon. See ya. Bye-bye.